Hello, as you can see by this box, today for review I've got another player made by Aston Kern and you can probably easily guess that it's recently released Futura or model that they gave name SE100. I am a proud owner of their uh, Ultima model uh, SP1000 and it's really outstanding player with outstanding price $3500 but uh, this one is relatively more affordable of course uh, I can't call player which cost $1,700 really affordable but it's two times more affordable than Ultima so it's a player that is pretty close to the uh, to the Ultima in all almost all aspects they've used another digital tonal converter chip they are using uh, ESS Saber 9038 uh, and it's uh, the most advanced uh, digital tonal converter chip in uh, ESS lineup. So it's really interesting player, at least in theory. So let's have a closer look and let's see what Aston Kern gives us for two times less than uh, for price to two times less than Ultimas. So box is noticeably simpler than. Ultima's one, just a regular cardboard with some technical specifications on the back side. Pretty good specs, where is English one? So, output level unbalanced uh, 2.0 volts RMS, balanced 4.1 volts RMS, pretty normal for almost every load. Great signal to noise ratio, frequency response typical, uh, pretty wide, and actually signal to noise ratio, if I remember right, it's even a bit bigger than uh, in for the Ultima, but actually, you know, it's not a big difference because all this, almost all these figures are beyond human, uh, beyond the possibilities of human ears. So inside there is regular cardboard, no no fancy wooden box like with Ultima. Here you will have manual and other papers, so quick start guide and so on. Here is player itself and underneath you will have warranty card and USB Type-C cable. So this time no case, no fancy box, everything is pretty straightforward and pretty simple. Accessory set is a bit limited. Futra is also a big player like Ultima. Actually, let's put Ultima to the table too. So, probably let's do a size comparison. They are almost equal in terms of size. Absolutely equal height, width, width and actually thickness, so pretty close dimensions, maybe a few millimeter difference present, but they both are big. But the biggest difference, of course, it's weight. Futura weighed about 240 grams, and it's pretty heavy player, but compared with 460 grams of Ultima, it's actually uh, feels like some feather weight. As you can see, they, uh, Aston Kern used different approach to design. Probably it's the most modern in terms of m most modern their player in terms of design. They probably tried to make it uh, corresponding to its name, and they created futuristic design. In as you can see, unusual sharp edges, bevels, really interesting unusual buttons. Pretty nice to touch. So let's have a closer look at control. So three buttons for playback control, output regular and balanced one, on-off button. So here is you here used separate button, volume control wheel. It's it has good clicks, well defined, working really nicely, and actually it's less wobbling than than uh, Ultima's one because in Ultima it's combined with on-off button. So it's a bit uh, more wobbling and uh, on the bottom here is USB-C for charging and to access the uh, USB DAC function and uh, micro SD slots. Also this player don't have this uh, contacts for uh, dock station so probably there won't be any amplifier for it or 
I don't know why, but actually it's lacking them. It has a bit less battery lifetime, it's about 11 hours uh, in specs, I've got about 10 hours and 40 minutes in my regular test, while this one is close to 12 hours. But I can't say that one hour makes drastic difference. Uh, it took about two hours to charge them using a quick charge uh, adapter, so here is all pre pretty the same. And uh, of course the, the vast majority of control uh, is done via touch screen. Touch screen is nice, it's big like the Ultima's one, so I can probably say they are equal in terms of screen. So here they are. So there is no big difference. Both screens are good, have good viewing angles. Maybe this one is a bit bit warmer and pleasant to eye, but actually my, I'm not sure here. Maybe I'm just it just seems to me. So it responds to the touch uh, to touch really nicely, and uh, actually really good screen has enough brightness to be visible under the bright sun and so on and so forth so everything is normal here uh, in terms of ui it's the same ui that is used in the flagship model and as i as far as i remember this uh, same ui will be used in the norma the most affordable model but will have a closer look when it will be released so it it has a, it's updated version of firmware for Aston Kern, it uses uh, eight core processor to run this firmware smoothly. So let's see. There is a pop up menu with all the controls, so you can quickly adjust settings Wi Fi, Bluetooth, equalizer, USB mode, external USB device, Aston Kern Connect, really nice function, line out if you need, G plus playback, uh, wheel lock, and settings. Main playback screen consists mostly of uh, uh, album cover. You can swipe here to quick re rewind. You can touch it to see uh, cover bigger. If lyrics is present, it will be displayed here. So add to playlist, playback order, shuffle uh, back if you need to navigate back, but I will show media library a bit later additional information if you need it and current playlist if you need it too so it can be edited it's really convenient firmware Aston Kern done really good work in terms of usability and so on and here is main menu with media library search is present here pretty convenient and working good songs it's a list of the all songs of course lists are scrolled flawlessly it's fast reliable so scroll albums you can see all the albums artists list of artists genre playlist folders mqs it's a high quality uh, high resolution recordings if you need them cd library if you will use their cd reaper store as usual consists of Groovers Plus and Tidal if you need it and settings. There are all necessary basic settings. So Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Aston Kern Connect, so you can uh, access to the remote media libraries, you can control player and so on. Equalizer pretty typical uh, with uh, presets and uh, you can select presets, so you can adjust it if you need. So actually I don't uh, like like the idea to use equalizer here but if you will need it you can definitely do it g plus playback line out left right balance playback settings it's uh, different uh, options of sorting and uh, adding songs to the playlist you can customize it cd ripping settings usb mode media transfer protocol or digital to analog converter if you need it USB audio mode, screen brightness, date and time, device name, language, keyboard, timer, downloads, and uh, utility functions, firmware update, system information, and so on. So as you can see, firmware is done really nicely, it's uh, well controlled, everything behaves uh, smoothly, so it's Aston Kern, and it, that's uh, what you can expect from the Aston Kern firmware, it's stable robust, fast, reliable, and so on and so forth. I've got zero issues with it. And about the sound. 
it's uh, pretty expectable that company like Aston Kern can't fail with sound and they indeed they didn't fail. But uh, actually Futura SE100 uh, has its own sound signature and uh, I can uh, call it, pre uh, let's say, it's pretty, it's a bit colder than typical Aston Kern signature and a bit brighter. So they like, probably it's maybe it's because of digital to analog converter used, maybe it's because of uh, tuning. So it's uh, what usually called saber sound, but uh, of course uh, it's not uh, too cold, it's not too natural, and so on. So bass here is. Uh, uncolored it has no zero accent it, but it has good layering good level of detailization of course you know it's really uh, I feel my feel like uh, feel myself a bit useless because it's uh, there is no much sense in describing sound of Aston Kern's uh, middle mid-level player because it sounds really nicely so good resolution good texturing nice layering good depths perfect control, so everything that you will expect from good low frequencies. Mids are also uncolored and they are uh, on natural side, they are really detailed and uh, they are sound really good, they have this uh, signature coloration, but actually it's not as big as in other Aston Kern players, so it's in these terms that pr pr probably pretty close to the Aston Kern's Khan player. And actually the main difference between those two players is that uh, Futura has uh, less weight on the mid frequencies and it's really make a difference because you know Ultima is uh, unbeatable and uh, it can say best. So it's uh, this one is also good but it, it's not as lively as Ultima. But it's of course it's still really really good. Imaginary stage is big, spacious, three-dimensional with good uh, layer separation, with good uh, instrument separation, with realistic size of instrument. So in terms of staging, in terms of three-dimensional three positioning, everything is nice. Treble is also probably as you can expect good, it has good resolution, it's a bit uh, accented and it puts a bit uh, additional energy to the upper mids and uh, lower treble, but it's not too much, so it's of course it's not close to being sibilant, it's not close to being harsh, it's like just a bit uh, accent that adds additional airness and additional uh, light, so it's sound really spacious, uh, treble is really extend really good, layering is a bit worse here than in the Ultimas, so I will probably create a video with the direct comparison. And uh, speaking about comparisons, in this price range we have uh, what we have, Opus number 2, it's a much more affordable player, but uh, it's not as resolving as this one, it has a bit uh, less resolving treble, and uh, but it has a bit more weighty mids and on the lows uh, foot raise a bit better too. Uh, actually I don't see much sense in comparing with other dubs, uh, probably I say a few words also with my beloved Aston Kern AK320. 320 was also a bit more colored, so it was done more in, in style of uh, Ultima. And actually I like the, this signature more, but if you like natural signature and if you like really resolving player, then uh, it's really good option for you. So it's still Aston Kern, it has perfect sound with great uh, level of details, with great staging, but if you want to have the best then definitely Ultima is your choice. But for this price it's still Aston Kern with uh, signature coloration, so it's also really nice player. And a few words about pairings. Actually, recent lineup of uh, Aston Kern dubs have uh, has uh, enough driving power for almost all circumstances. Two volts RMS from single-ended output and more than four volts RMS from the balanced output. It's uh, pretty enough for almost any portable headphones, with uh, some exceptions like uh, you know some uh, tough 
some uh, high impedance uh, models and uh, probably some really tough to drive planars. All other headphones will be really good with them uh, and they don't require additional amplification. On the other part of this scale is uh, sensitive IEMs and there is uh, zero background noise, so no issues, perfect, perfect black background, but actually I think it's pretty expectable from Aston Kern dubs uh, and uh, speaking about this one particular of course I like it most of all with uh, some uh, basic IEMs it, it pairs perfectly with Kimfire Audio both Andromeda and uh, Atlas and actually with Atlas it's really great uh, pairing and it also good with uh, Mezes 99 classics pretty it adds, adds a bit warmth and it sounds nicely Speaking probably about styles, this one is better for the chamber music, for some classical music, for the uh, female vocals than other styles like that. Um, and uh, actually Ultima is more universal, at least for me, but I think I will make another video about the comparisons of these two players. So to summarize everything great player it's much more affordable than ultima and of course uh, it's so it offers a better price to uh, price to quality ratio but you know ultima wasn't created with uh, price quality ratio in mind ultima was created for those who need the maximum performance and who wants to pay for that so i really recommend you if you have a chance listen both of them and uh, select which one you will like more of course I will stay with Ultima, but if I don't have it already, probably uh, Futura will be a great option for me too, but I already own this one, so for me this choice isn't present. Thank you for attention.